Good morning, folks. Welcome to the workout for today. We've got a good one. We're going to start out with 10 minutes of cardio, some light cardio on a rower. You can run, you can bike, you can uh, use a skier, whatever it is. You just want to start to bring your temperature up, start to get your blood flowing uh, for about 10 minutes at a real easy pace. From there, we're going to move into some active stretching. If you, hadn't, if you haven't done our active stretching before, you can click on the link in our description of this workout, take you to the video, take you through some movements, getting your body prepared to do some exercise. From there, we're going to do some dislocates, we're going to do some push-ups, and a pull-up ladder. If you're not familiar with the dislocates, I'll go through each one, but basically we're going to do three by ten dislocates. You're going to take a pole, broomstick, whatever it is, you're going to basically run that back and forth, one, two, and that's going to start to loosen up those shoulders. After that, we're going to do some push-ups. We'll talk about that proper technique, and then we're going to do a pull-up ladder. So let's talk about dislocates. Dislocate. You can use a PVC pipe, pole, a uh, broomstick, whatever you've got, you can use it. Essentially, all you're doing is warming up your shoulders by running that back and forth. I'm going to do three rounds of 10 cycles each. So this would be one, two, and the more flexible you are, you can move those arms in, start to move them in. If you're having a hard time, you can move them really far out. But the whole idea is to slowly move your hands in further and further. Here, see it from the side. And that's a dislocate. Now we've got two by 10 push-ups. What you want to do is make sure that your butt isn't too high or too low during a push-up. And you want to make sure that your elbows are tucked in. You want to be doing push-ups way out here. You want to pull those elbows into your side. Keep your hands just below your shoulders and push all the way out and all the way down until you touch the floor with your chest. So we want to focus on being straight here. We don't want our butt up here. We don't want it down here. If you're having a hard time doing push-ups, you can drop to your knees and do the same exact movement. But what we don't want is these arms way out here when we're pushing down. We want them in nice and tight. And we're going to go all the way down, all the way up. No, no, I don't want to see any, no half reps. I want up, full extension, down. That's a rep. We're going to do two rounds of 10. Now we've got a pull-up ladder, one to four to one. What that means is you're going to do one pull-up, then you're going to rest for a second. Then you're going to do two pull-ups. Then you're going to rest for a second, or two seconds. Basically rest enough so that you can complete the next set. So then three, then four, then three, two, one. Now these are strict pull-ups, they're not kipping pull-ups. You want to pull up, or chin above the bar, back down. If you need to use a band, feel free to use a band. If you need to do jumping pull-ups, jump up to the top and then lower yourself down if needed. So, the first rep would look like this. One. Then you're gonna rest for a second. Make sure you're ready. From there, rest again, three, four, three, two, one. All right, we're warmed up, ready to get in the main set of this workout. Time to get some real work done. Now remember, what we prescribe is not necessarily what you have to do if you're not to that level yet. So we're gonna do some high volume today, meaning we're doing 50 to 100 reps of four movements. If you need to cut that down to half or a quarter, go ahead and do that. As you do the reps, do five reps, rest, do five reps, break them down, but you're able to scale everything back and only do what you're able to do. Then later, you can redo the workout. But today, we're starting with 50 pull-ups, 
So we're going to get on the pull-up bar, we're going to do 50 pull-ups. From there, we're going to do 100 push-ups. Again, if you need to modify by going to your knees, break it up into sets of 10, or cut the reps down. But the goal is to do 100 push-ups. Then we're going to do 100 crunches. So you're going down, we're going to be doing crunches. From there, we're going to do 100 air squats. Again, if you need to break those up into 10s, 15s, 5s, whatever it takes, but just chip away and keep doing the work. After that, we're going to move on to a cardio set. Real quickly on the movements, we did pull-ups during our pull-up ladder. You saw me do that. We did push-ups. I talked about that. We'll show a demonstration of sit-ups and uh, air squats. For our crunches, if you need to put a towel or something on your back, something to make the ground softer, feel free to do that. Our crunches are basically going to be feet in front. We're not going to anchor our feet. Uh, we're going to sit back. And we're simply coming up. One, two, three, four. We're going to do 100 of those. Now for our 100 air squats, you're going to have your feet shoulder width apart and you're simply going to squat down, butt to the ground, and back up. We don't want to be leaning too far over. We want to make sure we drop. Our goal is to drop below parallel. If you can't do that, you can modify that and just go as low as you can. But ideally, you're going to go ahead and drop all the way down, up. You want full extension on the hips. We don't want to just come up here, all the way up. One, two, three. We're going to do 100 of those. And the last portion of today's workout is a cardio portion. And what we're going to do is you're going to be able to use a, a, a bike, a rower, a skier, whatever you have access to. We're going to do eight rounds, 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. So by work, I mean you're going hard. You're going to pull hard for 20 seconds, or you're going to ride hard for 20 seconds. Then you're going to rest. Now during that rest, you can maintain a light pull. You can stop. I typically like to keep moving. So if I'm doing a skier, I'm still kind of moving. I don't ever stop if I'm not on the bike. I'm just moving really slowly, kind of an active recovery for 10 seconds, and then back into it for 20 seconds. We're doing that for eight rounds. All right, I hope you guys like that. Now it's time to cool down finally. What we're gonna do is we're going to do a cool down of basically 10 minutes of walking, uh, 10 minutes of rowing, 10 minutes on the bike, just something nice and light. Real light cool down, allowing your body to cool down, but helping your heart by circulating some of that blood, not just stopping working out. From there, we'll do some stretching. If you haven't done um, stretching at the end of a workout before, you can look at our stretching video, click on the link, and it'll take you through a light end of workout stretching session. Stretching session. <laughs> All right, you guys have a great day.